what's going on y'all so it is the start of a new season new series series 13 and we're gonna start off with the most recent version of this Groudon Calyrex Zero Aura team. Now this team has gone through quite a few variations actually since I originally released the rental. I think the original rental had White Herb Swords Dance with a uh, Life Orb of Altal and no coaching on Zero Aura. And then we switched to coaching Zero Aura with Leftovers Groudon and Fire Punch over Thunder Punch. And the reason why I ended up going with this is really just the sheer amount of options that this gives us against not only Pokemon like Aveltal, but primarily Kyogre. So with this spread that I found for my Groudon, you can start coaching plus Dynamax Groudon. If somebody starts a Kyogre in front of you and tries to just Dynamax right away. And you will be able to get pretty much a guaranteed Oko. Unless they're running a really bulky Kyogre. But I mean technically I guess depending on how threatened you are. You could also just click Plasma Fist's Max Lightning right. Like you don't actually have to click Coaching Max Lightning but... The coaching Max Lightning can Oko a Dynamax Kyogre. And that's the important thing. It does 100.5 to 120% <laughs> to a to a normal Kyogre that like anyone would run. You know what I mean? So we do have that, but I mean a lot of the time we probably are gonna do something like Lead Zero or a Calyrex. Or maybe like a Moongus. Kyrex or something I don't know like we'll see what happens right but I'm actually gonna be trying this team with Zacian over the Aveltal and we'll see if I like that it does take away our access to max <clears throat> to max flying which I think is actually kind of a disbenefit right so I mean, it's good that you guys have this rental code because it you you want a team to have the ability to click max uh, airstream, and you know if it turns out that I don't like the uh, Zacian variant, that's just what it is, right? But I do think the Zacian variant should be pretty good. Um. This video will be coming out tomorrow from when I'm recording it, but today it is the uh, two year anniversary of my channel. So, you know, thank you to those of you who are around. I definitely appreciate y'all. And, uh, you know, the channel really has come a long way. If you watched one of my earliest videos, I used to film my videos by clipping together the 30 seconds with the switch and then stitching them together because like I literally didn't I didn't have a uh, I didn't have a capture card so that was just the way I did this it was pretty funny um okay their team looks scary can I start Groudon Zero Aura is what I'm asking myself. Can I start Groudon Zero Aura with Incineroar? Incineroar. Amoongus? Calyrex? I do like my Calyrex here, but like, I'm, I can This is gonna be rough.
I don't think I had a good plan to start calculating this. Okay, well, I mean, they quit, so... Darkest Lariat, Flare Blitz, Fake Out, Parting Shot. They probably expected me to have a faster Fake Out, and uh, that's probably why they quit. But guess what? I didn't. <laughs> Choice Scarf Ogre. Ugh. I mean, I was probably just going to click Coaching and then Max Quake the Palkia. I might have talked my brain into Max quaking the Incineroar for some reason because that's just how my brain works, but hey, that's why you can't lose to your own unconfidence, my guy. So chalk one up for the boys, I guess. I don't know. It didn't update. <laughs> we got so we got so invested in what was about to happen and then it was just poof nada nada nil nada Oh, come on, please. You gotta find someone, my guy. You gotta find someone. We can't have the first 10 minutes of the video be nothing. I'm gonna have to cut stuff out. You gotta find someone. If I squint hard enough, will it happen? Come on. There you go. Freaking nada nil nada. Okay. <clears throat> this is still a pretty scary team. Um, Zara Aura. Might not be faster than Venusaur. I'm kind of hoping it will be. More of like a not a nil not a. Let's start that. Let's bring Groudon because I think it's best against the most of their team besides Venusaur. And let's bring this. <clears throat> so if they start Urshifu, that's obviously bad for me. Start having Venus. Okay, so three seventy nine times one point five goes to two. 268 and 285 times 1.5 or 285 285 times 2 60 oh why did I do that wait what 379 times 1.5 okay I'm gonna have to fix that um I'm like I'm like one speed slower than this Venusaur And that's like a really bad thing. Come 
I'm literally... I might not be. I might be, like, based on how the... the adding speed on works. I might be faster. But I'm just saying, if I'm not, this is gonna be bad. So I can almost promise you guys if I give literally like one more bit of speed to my guy, I will outspeed them. So let's see. 192 times 1 1.5 goes to 288. And they have 145 times 1. 1, 145 times 2. Yeah, I mean. I need to make myself literally like one speed faster. So, what I'm trying to do here is I want them to... Okay, will they do that? I wanted them to... Uh, let's see who's faster here. So, Calyrex... Okay. So, my play would have worked, basically. That's what you can infer from that. My play... St would have worked if I st were to have gotten it right. That's scary. <laughs> My guy dropping bombs. This is the only thing I can do. Yes! I need this to KO, it probably won't, but... Okay, it does. Okay. <laughs> so stressful, man.
Ah, oh, dang it. GG's. I just don't see myself living a wicked blow, honestly. But I do feel like I should just go for Thunder Punch. Yeah, so I mean, uh, I could have won, right, if I just clicked Astral Barrage, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, I definitely messed up my spread, which just means I'm going to have to fix it. No, I don't really care about your team because I could have beat you. Um, yeah, that was pretty frustrating. I mean, it's frustrating when, like, you could have won in the end game and then you just didn't make the right play. Because I probably would have just one-shot their Zacian. Okay, I'm just going to take some of the special attack off. Because it doesn't matter. Alright, there you go. Did we hit 294? Or, I mean, to whatever. 284, yes. Okay. We're back in action. No more of that. <laughs> oh, God. Why couldn't I just make the right play? <sighs> Um, okay. so I like the idea of starting like Groudon Zara Aura here. Um, Groudon Zara Aura with Groudon Zara Aura with. Zacian and I mean Calyrex isn't bad here. Amoongus provides really good redirection support. Insin provides fake out and is really good against certain things. They do have a lot of single target attackers. 
And they also have the potential to set up Trick Room. So this is what we call a bulky Groudon scenario. I don't remember if they have a flying Pokemon to switch out into. But, I mean, they might have coaching. Or, I mean, they might have fake out, but I don't think it's going to go very well for them either way. Like, what, you set up Reflect and then you just get destroyed by a plus one Life Orb Max Quake, hopefully. They are going to Dynamax. They are going to be slower. Um, I'm really hoping that they just don't have a weakness policy or something like Christ. okay so we should we should be okay as long as we weren't speed time they oh no it was a speed tie uh. dang it That's so bad. doesn't matter. Bro, I hate how, like, there's a speed- there's not only is there a speed tie on your Dynamax animation, but then there's a speed tie on your move dynamic. Like, I- if I'm gonna Dynamax first, tell me that I'm gonna move first, my guy. Like, that just screwed the whole thing up. Like, I was gonna literally wreck them if that didn't happen. And because that happened, we have a Scarf coaching Zeraora, and we have an Amoongus, first the world. So, yeah. Uh.
God, I did it in the wrong order. Jesus Christ. Sorry. And I have to go buy the carbos again, right? Okay. Let's hope that that makes a difference, like, I mean, it was the winning difference between last match, so, like, if that had been the case, we would have won, and it just so happens that we literally speed-tied their Dialga, we won the Dynamax speed-tie, and we lost the general speed-tie for the move, so. It's frustrating. Because, like, it's, you know, two losses in a row that I could have won. Um, this looks a little like a team I had. I could just start... Zera or uh, Groudon um, with Incineroar and probably Zacian. I mean, I know Calyrex isn't terrible here. Hmm. I don't know what I'm feeling. I kind of want to just click Electroweb and Max Quake. Like, if they fake out the Zara Aura, so be it. If they have a Shaka Berry, that's one thing, you know, I'll have to deal with that. That's technically why I have Calyrex as a switch in, because a minus one life orb Max Quake should still be able to KO them if they don't have a Shaka. Uh, but we're gonna do what we can. They make the right play. Yeah. 
They don't want to know what that Zeror is about. They said, no, sir, don't bring that around here. I don't want to know what it does. I don't want to see it. <laughs> There's the shuck. So now I'm going to bring out my Zacian. I'm going to set up a sub, maybe. And I'm going to max lightning Diavelta. Reason being that I want to get enough ship damage on them that I will be able to behemothly. Wow, that's quite the survive. Because I don't know if this Max Quake's going to KO, I feel like it won't. Yeah, so I should have clicked Max Rockfall in case that was a thing. I'm really hoping that they don't just click Trick Room. Okay. So we have to Sacred Sword the Calyrex, and we have to Protect. I still think they should win, honestly. I definitely should have rockfalled them, um, we do have Incineroar, so I mean we can protect here, we can switch into Incin.
Okay. Um, I'm gonna. S I'm gonna sacred sword this slot again, and I'm going to uh, fake out here. Mm, technically, I probably should. Okay. Let's click print. So, I could have behemoth bladed last turn, but what I'm gonna do is, yeah, I mean. That play felt obvious from them, but I still felt like I did what I had to do. Um. I'm gonna target the Aveltal just in case it doesn't KO. They get a double- No! No! <laughs> Why, dude? Why does that have to be like the one thing that could lose me this?
<laughs> oh my god, man, dude. I got I got so tilted like in all of those matches. <sighs> so, I mean, it wasn't a good demonstration, but I think we learned what we needed to do to make the team as good as it needs to be. So I am going to give you guys the new rental code. Um, I know people are probably like, so many rental codes. But, you know, I'm trying to keep up to date with what I think is the best. And I do think that this team has a lot of potential. We just kind of played bad in most of the games. So... You know. Gotta update my rental code now again. So that's our new rental code for the Eveltal team that doesn't have Eveltal anymore. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry that I kind of made some bad plays, but you know, we tried our hardest and we did what we had to do. So peace out, y'all. Have a good one.